say no to this face or this one. Adopting a pet can be a satisfying and rewarding experience, not just for you and your family, but the animal that you just saved too. But what many don't realize, how much is this really going to cost? Dog owner Emily Meyer shares some of her expenses. We had to get like the dog dishes, you know, some dog food, um, toys. I had to get that pet spray for when, oh. if there's accidents, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, like that stuff was probably like 50 or 60 total. It's the things that you don't plan for that can add up. Like for instance, like last month, Money. she had like a couple different things like wrong with her ears. So we had to take her in. So it was about like 400 actually. Amy Lustig just adopted two kittens from the Wisconsin Humane Society, each running her about 150 a piece. There you go. To me, it doesn't matter. It, to me, having an animal is more important than what it costs. But cost does matter to many people. The Wisconsin Humane Society says people surrendered 6,000 pets to their three shelters last year. The owners cite moving or landlord issues as the most common reason, already having too many animals as the second, and the third top reason, people can't afford care anymore. Most of the animals are being surrendered to us because of a lack of resources that are financial. Speed says the adoption counselors make it clear how much it may cost annually. We're talking at least over $1,000 per year, depending on the animal and the size of your pet. And again, this doesn't take into account those emergency visits or unexpected illnesses. We're all set for number 10. Vaccines can usually set you back about 100 bucks, but the Humane Society offers vaccine days four times per month and is just 18 bucks for the most common ones. We never want to see people surrender their animals because of financial hardship, and if we can help get them through that tough spot, um, we absolutely want to keep those pets in homes where they're loved. Another service is the Furry Friends Pet Food Pantry. They offer free food and cat litter to hundreds of people throughout the year. Best part? No application is required, and it's a first-come, first-served basis. It is donation-driven, though, so be sure to call ahead of time. And if you love pets but you can't afford the cost for care, the Humane Society is always looking for volunteers that work with the animals on a daily basis. Woo, 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 woo. Lindsay Slater, WISN 12 News.